Hey folks, here at OS Reviews, you're watching our video first look and a quick review of the Cronova XPE460. This is a mobile LED projector which sells on Amazon for under 80 bucks, and it's a series of these rather low cost projectors that have a native resolution of 800 by 480 so it doesn't compete with full HD projectors that also cost many times more uh, but it works fairly well and this is already you know the third fourth generation of products in the same family so it has been refined in terms of the quality and it works a lot better now than it used to be. You have quite a few options as far as input it supports both HDMI for laptops as well as phones to older VGA ports for maybe you know older generation computer it also supports usb so you can plug in a thumb drive loaded with music or videos and it can play back directly also with an sd card reader and a standard av port um, it comes with a built-in speaker but it doesn't work too well it's a little bit tinny so you can plug in your own speaker if you want a more home th uh, theater like experience so in the box, we have access to the projector itself, in addition to a remote control, which uses AAA batteries, which are not included to operate. We'll take a closer look at this in a second, but it basically is a typical infrared-based remote that works pretty well. You have a T9-style layout for changing channels, as well as volume controls, and for navigating the user interface, in addition to powering the projector on or off. However, it is using infrared technology, which means that you have to be in a direct line of sight with the projector's uh, infrared sensor for it to work. If you block it or have it oriented in the other direction, it's not going to be as sensitive. Here is a quick start guide, which is documented pretty well. This projector does come in two color iterations, black and white, and the design is actually a lot smaller than you would expect just by looking at the design. The photos. It's actually pretty petite and easy to transport uh, if you are using this for conferences or for sharing videos when on the go. It's printed in full color and tells you how to use a number of different sources and it comes with a few different languages as well. So here we have the power AC cable which is just very standard. The cable length is a little bit short for my liking but it does work and there's an adapter for the aforementioned RGB cable, AV cable, and there's also a tiny little screw that you can pop onto the back to pop it up at an angle for tilted viewing. And there's also a bonus HDMI cable full-sized as you get as a bonus for plugging in a laptop maybe. So here we have the projector taking a quick look at the design. It is extremely glossy. It's made completely out of plastic and it uh, does attract quite a bit of fingerprints as well as grease and dust along the sides and edges. There is a cap that protects the lens from any d dust or damage when you're not using it. And there is a simple mechanical switch which you use to change the focus uh, to attune this depending on how far the projector is from a wall. The front here features the IR port for the remote, the Cronova logo, and these grills here are used for ventilation purposes to prevent it from overheating. There is a fan which will run in the background that uh, kicks in. It uh, distracts a little bit if you are completely silent and giving a presentation, but overall it's not too bad. Uh, just know that it's not completely silent like some Pico projectors on the market. The very top features access to also hardware keys, which I'm a huge fan of. Despite the small size of this projector, it still makes it possible to navigate everything without the use of the remote control. So you can change things like the input source, the menu, turning it on or off, there's an LED light, as well as a four-way navigation toggle and an OK key. These keys could be a little bit more risen above the surface for easier tactile feedback, but overall they work pretty well. The back features access to a full-size SD card reader, the full-size HDMI port, in addition to a 3.5mm headphone jack and an AV port. There's also the ability to plug in a uh, additional antenna if you want to watch TV, but it's not included here. There's also a little attunement over here that adjusts the tilt of the screen that you have in case you have it set up at a tilted angle and you still want to make the projected screen complete. Overall, a fairly elegant and traditional design. The back also features rubber feet, which prevents it from sliding around on a surface or a desk when you have it set up. So next we're gonna power it on and do a quick demo of some video footage that you might when get from the turn on. It actually is a lot brighter, more vibrant than I originally thought. This is what the user interface looks like, and uh, it's pretty simple and straightforward. You have a few tabs for things like checking out images, music, videos, and text files that are loaded using a thumb drive or an SD card. Uh, it's gonna be read by the proprietary operating system. You have to then toggle back and forth using the remote to go through the main settings. Uh, and when you're done, you can select things uh, such as the sources, if you have a phone or a computer plugged in. So we're gonna try that right now and see uh, how long that process takes. So here we can change things such as the color temperature, the noise, the background, the font size, uh, when the projector times out. 
uh, over here we can change things such as the sharpness, the volume as well uh, to exit out of that. Over here we can change things like the input source. So this is what we want. We're going to try and go up to HDMI and see if uh, it's going to show up with the computer that we have on screen over here. So indeed it does. I have to say that uh, right now we are projected to a virtual screen size of roughly 100 inches and things seem rather sharp and impressive, um, at least for a projector with a native resolution that isn't even 720p. If you look really closely, you will find a bit of pixelation and a bit of uh, tiny grids that indicates uh, not as much of a high definition display as you would get from a flat screen panel or an ultra HD phone or you know a monitor screen. But overall, not really not a bad experience if you're doing a few quick presentations, if you're doing some quick video clips, you want to watch those, um, also enjoy a few clips uh, or movies from YouTube. It certainly does the job and you can still have a very nice experience. There is a bit of an ambient background noise created by the fan, which you can hear in the background here. Uh, but overall, if you have a bit of music playing back in the background, it isn't too distracting and also isn't too noticeable. So we're going to play back a clip here from YouTube and show you guys the experience you would get also from the speakers built into the projector, which is where the audio is coming out from. Of course, you can plug in additional speakers or headphones if you want to. shown in that brief video demonstration, the quality of projector is actually pretty good. Uh, despite the relatively low native resolution, you would expect you know, picture quality not to be super clean or crisp, but it actually works quite well as long as you have your expectations tempered. And for home cinema purposes, just for watching a few DVDs, for streaming presentations, maybe on Netflix, um, even if you're a student, you're on a budget, and you're in a dorm room where you don't have the space to put a full television, this might be a good option. It actually works fairly well for watching television at a large uh, sc virtual screen in addition to sharing some quick presentations here and there. It's not perfect, but at this price point, it is very competitive with other models on the market. So all in all, we would say that this is uh, pretty recommended and you can check out more details in our official written review. But for now, this has been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. This has been the Cronova XPE 460, a new small LED projector by Cronova.